the grand annual handicap chase is next then and this is a two mile naught to 140 so this one they'll be going lickety split the top one is spilt over for ryan tamasebi coco bell john morgan duchess lancelot paul rhodes gray lender ryan costello haladia ahead thomas rogers high tan darren thompson central house john morgan chiller melbourne Graham Clutterbuck, the great center, Ryan Costello, brilliant Melody, Alex Cherry, Campbell, Carlington, Martin Leland, Lexington Virus, Vinnie Gerard, Mandrake, Root, Martin Leland, Fiorentis, Diamond, Paul Rhodes, Portland Daydream, Vinnie Gerard, Farhana Landes, and Mass Lat Gacho for James Shea, Tin Pop Boris for Graham Clutterbuck, One Master David Hooley, and Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg. It is indeed a Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg, 1 2 in the Gold Cup, and called in, and away they go. And the rain stopped again, and they're racing down towards the first in this one. And brilliant melody and mass lap gacha are two of the first shows. They get to the first, and they all stream over that one with Coco Bell, just the early back marker. But mass lap gacha has got the lead then from brilliant melody in second. A gap of about three or four lengths then to the remainder are pretty tightly packed looking towards the back chiller melbourne is there just about drop to the back as they get to the second and over that one they go with mass like gacho and brilliant melody disputing the lead this next one will be the last on the next circuit and they get to it and mass like gacho and brilliant melody landed together there's a lot of greys in this and we see them from the top of the stand and swing left-handed and race away and mass like gacho and brilliant melody are four or five clear of Coco Bell in the pale blue jacket on the outside of that one in the red is spilt over. Halladier ahead in the green on the rail. Then Mandrake Root with a yellow cap. Uh, next to that one is Farhana Landes. The grey with the pale blue jacket is Central House. The grey teller, the grey and the green and white hoops. Uh, next to that one is Duchess Lancelot. And then one master is a grey on the rail with a purple jacket. Looking towards the back, capable Cardington is now the new back marker as they take the water and race away then with Coco Bell now coming to join Brilliant Melody for a share of the leaders Mass Lat Gacho drops back into third over this ditch they go all safely over that one with spilt over in fourth and then Duchess Lancelot and Central House Mandrake Root and Halladier ahead as they get over the seventh they're all still on their feet and Coco Bell has now taken the lead so Coco Bell's in front then with less than a mile to go well past halfway and John Morgan's got a 1-3 at the moment as they take this ditch and over that one they will go and there's a faller there spilt over has gone so the top weight's out and that one's gone so Coco Bell is the leader from Brilliant Melody as they take the next plain one then in third place comes Central House and Duchess Lancelot and then Farhana Landes and Maslak Gacho Haldir ahead the grey teller Mandrake Root on the inside then comes Lexington Virus Tin Pot Boris sweeping around the outside but it's Coco Bell over this next one in the lead Coco Bell from Brilliant Melody the grey teller they're queuing up behind to take them on but they've got to get to Coco Bell first and Coco Bell is in the lead with three to jump Coco Bell from the Grey Teller. The Grey Teller now sweeps around the outside to come through to challenge for the lead. The Grey Teller lands in front and races away from it well. It's the Grey Teller. Far Harlan Landes is a faller. It's Grey Teller from Coco Bell. Central House. Tim Pot Boris. Duchess Lancelot. Mandrake Root trying to get in the wheel as well. And as they come down towards the final two fences, it's the Grey Teller in the lead. As they swing around this turn, then now there's plenty of greys up there to the full, but Grey Teller is the grey in front. Here comes Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg. Duchess Lancelot. Mandrake Root. Coco Bell. Grey Lender. Tim Pot Boris over the second as they go and now he said Warren Costello's got first and second the great teller and now Mandrake Root hits the front they come down towards the final fence Mandrake Root gets over it lands in the lead from Grey Lender and Duchess Lancelot Mandrake Root now goes a length clear racing inside the final furlong Mandrake Root is two lengths clear and racing now inside the final half furlong Mandrake Root being chased by Central House Mandrake Root needs a line Central House is closing Mandrake Root in the lead here comes Central House oh it's close but I think Mandrake Root just held on and if she has that is my final runner at Cheltenham and finally get a winner and it was going to be the first season where I'd never get a winner at the Cheltenham Festival but Mandrake Root has taken the grand annual from Central House it could be a dead heat no it's not it's a short head win for Mandrake Root and that's the winner there. Mandrake Root takes the grand annual for Martin Leland. Central House for John Morgan was second. Red Flag Day, Leon Van Rensburg third. Grey Lender for Ryan Costello fourth. And Duchess Lancelot for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>